Yes, sir. Okay. Hello, everyone. Uh, welcome to Big Jim's Blogcast Live. Uh, give me a minute here. It's Best of Volume 1. Um, all right. Hold on here a sec. There we go. All right. Mm, hello. I'm going to write it down here. Fuck. H E L O. Okay. All right. Okay. Anyways, hello everyone. Um, I am going to. I'm just. Yeah, at seven o'clock, I'm going to share a few things. Um, mm, okay. Oh. Let's see here. All right. There we go. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Uh. Okay. All right. Okay. Mm. Let's see here. All right. Let's share a note there. All right. Uh, let's see. Oh, come on. Don't get. Okay. Hmm. All right. Van Halen forever. Let's see. Hmm. All right. So. Hmm. Okay. Um. All right. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live. Uh, yeah. Uh, Chain Reaction Canada. Oh, come on. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. All right. So, anyways, people. Um, yes, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. Uh, it is a best of volume one blogcast. So, um, hmm. All right. So, anyways, let's see. Mm. Mm. Okay. Uh, my phone is screwing up, but hello, everyone. Um, okay, close that. Let's bring that back to normal. Um, yeah, all right. And here we go. I'm going to switch into the page. All right. Switch into Big Jim Blogcast Live. All right. So, yeah. Uh, all right. Okay. Yeah, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version uh, 4.0. It's Best of Volume 1. It's Sunday. November 13th, um, 2022. So, there we are. And, uh, yeah. So, uh, hold on a sec. All right. There we go. Mm. Okay. So, yeah. Hey, hello, everyone. Okay. Mm, okay. Your groups. All right, there we go. Mm, okay. Uh, all right. Okay. <laughs> All right. So, yes. There we go. All right. Um, yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, it is uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. 
it is a best of volume one um it's like uh okay just checking out these notifications here anyways uh yeah um it's sunday november 13th 2022 um it uh this is I'll do my intro. Welcome to Big Jit Blogcast Live version 4.0. Uh, we air live on Facebook every Sunday. the occasional Friday, Saturday, once in a while. And once in a while, a 9 o'clock Wednesday. So we're in our fourth year. We debuted back in November of 2018. We're based out of Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. We do craft beer reviews, over 200 and counting. Tonight's craft beer, it's a classic from... <coughs> I, re I did this on October 27, 2019, episode 98. This is Monty's Rye Aged Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company. Um, I rated it a 4 out of 5 back then. It was a different rating system, but I'll explain much more later on. Um, yeah, and Sue, how are you guys? Uh, we uh, like uh, we crop your reviews from breweries right here in Sarnia, across Ontario, Canada, and the U.S. Uh, we pair it up with a good cigar, uh, like this one. All right, it's a Rocky Patel cigar. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so no need to rush that, rush right into that. Um, mm. <coughs> All right, so we'll get to this in a minute. Uh, we pair it up, yeah, like with, with a good cigar. Tonight, I'm pairing it up, pairing Monty's Rye Age Dill up with Crown Royal Vanilla. And so we'll see how that goes. But, yeah. Um, tonight, I'm here for, we're here for birthday shoutouts to our friends, countdowns, local events. Um, we've got, like, uh, we, like um, we'll talk about classic movies from the 70s, 80s, and 90s. I've got a classic movie on right now. Classic TV, like spin-off, one, two, three, at Season Wonders, canceled TV shows, 70s, 80s, 90s, hard rock, one-hit wonders, classic albums, classic guitar duos. Um, so, uh, yeah. Uh, classic pro wrestling from the 70s, 80s, 90s, pay-per-views, like the defunct leagues, like the WCW, the NWA, the AWA, jobbers, uh, classic tag teams. Um, classic sci-fi, like droid ships, weapons, aliens, minor characters from Star Wars, Star Trek, Battlestar Galactica. On this day in Van Halen history, uh, we'll talk about some sports like hockey, baseball, football, uh, UFC. Like, uh, classic 70s, 80s, 90s, movies, sequels, prequels. Um, this year, random gong solos like this one. All right, boom, yeah, there you go. Um... All right, vlogcast party while working. Okay, so yeah, so that's Blake Jim Vlogcast Live in a nutshell. Turn us on, tune in, enjoy the show. Let's keep it fun, light. Um, politics and religion are off limits, so I want to remind everybody that Big Jim Vlogcast Live is not spam. Our, uh, our the audio version of this podcast vlogcast does go out later on. Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listing platforms, and my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Vlogcast Live at YouTube. So, giving shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, uh, Sarnia Rocks, uh, Chain Reaction, Pop Culture, Van Halen, all the craft beer, hard rock, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling. Tonight, the A Team, oh yeah, D Dirk Benedict. Um, mm. Okay, I gotta find that. Uh, all right, the A team, the A team Appreciation Society post. There we go. Mm. Post the William Shatner. Post. There we go. Um, yeah, and so we're worldwide. We also reach besides Canada and the U.S. We reach Europe, Japan, China, uh, Korea, uh, Ireland, Scotland. So uh, enjoy us, everyone. So yeah. Um, hmm, all right, so, hmm, okay, uh, all right, okay, so, and I will, all right, so, yeah, I'm going to share this a few more times, hmm. 
Okay. So, yeah, before I get to our, uh, we'll, we'll have, we have kind of a, I, well, I, maybe it'll go, maybe I'll go for an hour, maybe two, you never know. Um, all right. Uh, okay. No. Oh. Hmm. All right. I'm going to write a comment in here. Hmm. Okay. So, hmm. All right. All right. There we are. Okay. Mm. All right. Okay. So anyways, yeah, uh, we will like, uh, when you get to our uh, birthday shows, countdowns, our classic craft beer review, I may re re, re uh, okay, what, what do we got here? Okay, I'm not all right. So, anyways, yeah. Uh, our classic craft beer. We're going to... I'll just, like, uh, light this up. So, all right. So, mm. all right. Mm. Mm. Okay. So, hmm. All right, we'll get to, like, uh, it's a best of from 2019 to 2022. I've got, like, a classic movie, Kingdom of the Spiders, uh, season one of the A-Team, Star Wars Speeder Bikes, a classic tag team, The Powers of Pain, um, former boy band manager Lou Pearlman, a boy, a forgotten, like, one-hit wonder boy band, Soul Decision, and on this day in Van Halen history. So, mm, okay. Mm. All right. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. All right. So, where can I... Uh, all right. Share. Lead to a page. Share now. Public. Share. To you. Okay. So, there we go. Uh, oh, no. All right. Mm. All right. Oh. Hmm. Hmm, there we are. So, yes. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm not worried about that. So, yeah. All right. All right. Okay. Just having a little trouble with my phone there. So, anyways, we are just looking at, like, oh, yeah. So, mm, all right. So, tonight, and tonight we're posting in, like, uh, the A-Team Appreciation Society and the William Shatner groups. So, okay. So, anyways, uh, well, my craft beer for tonight, and I, uh, I'm trying it for the second time. Because I tried this for the first time October 27th, 2019 on episode 98. And I gave it a 4 out of 5. And uh, it's been an instant classic ever since. And so here we go. And pour it by, This is Monty's Rye Aged Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario. So look at that. Mm. Oh, my God. It was heaven the first time I tried it. Um, whoa, 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 okay. So, um, it's aged in oak wood infused with 100% Canadian rye whiskey, rich layers of silky caramel, honey and vanilla flavor, rye spice, smokiness, balance out of a mellow finish. Some sediment may occur. So, here we go. Mm. Oh, oh yeah, oh my God. Just heaven on the, heaven on the taste buds there. Monty's Rye Aged Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario. And back then, I gave it a five, a four out of a five. So, but uh, I'm going to re-rate it tonight. That's it. That's my call. I can be spontaneous here. I'm going to re-rate it out of ten. 
So how we usually do this on Big Jim Blogcast Live tonight is if the, I usually give this a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So audience participation. So later on you may want to throw it a, a number, see if it matches up with mine. But yeah, um, it, uh, but oh my God, just silkiness, silky goodness. Mm. You can taste, you can taste the caramel, the honey and vanilla in it. And this is like a all year round beer. I'll tell you right now. Holy shit. And I'm pairing it up with Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm, mm. Oh yeah. All right. Good stuff there. Good stuff there. So yeah. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, uh, oh man. And later on, I'm going to explain my rating system. Okay. So, anyways, um, uh, come on. Fuck. All right. Mm. Okay. There we go. Come on. Fuck. My phone's acting up on me. So. There we go. Okay. So anyways, I won't make a mess. I won't. Sorry. Uh, um, okay. There we are. So anyways, yeah. Um. It, uh, what do we got here? Just looking at that. We'll get to some birthday shout outs in a minute here. Mm. So, all right. Well, maybe I'll just switch. Maybe it's time to get a new phone. Maybe. But, anyways, we got some birthday shout outs here. But, yeah, a little later on, I will explain my rating system. So, and yeah, the, oh my God. This was an instant classic back on episode of 98 of October 27, 2019. Um, it just wowed my taste buds. It's it's an all-year-round beer. So, uh, okay. So, yeah. And it's really good. So, I can't say enough of that. Um, mm, all right. So, mm, all right. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, yeah, we're going to get some birthday shout outs here. All right. There we are. I switched into the page. So, yeah, um, yeah, if you're a first time, uh, first time watcher, but like follower of Big Jim's Blogcast Live, we're not spam. So, yeah, gong show there. So, anyways, yeah, we will get to some. We'll have some birthday shout outs here. Mm. Mm. It is Sunday night, Sunday, November thirteenth, twenty twenty two. My phone keeps acting up. Um, all right. So let's go with our uh, our birthday shout-outs from October 7th to October 13th today. Julie Clark, Dave Myers, Katrina Murphy, Tara Dunsmore, Wendy Veens, James Ward, Jonathan Schlinker, Lana Smith, Ray Ann Burke, Scott Armstrong, and Rob Speck. All right. Happy birthday, everybody. Uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live wishes you happiest of birthdays. So, yeah. All right. So there you go. Happy birthday, everybody. Mm. Mm. So, yeah. Uh, all right. And also, pick up a craft beer guide, the Ontario Craft Beer Guide. I have all volume one, issue four. Um, I tried to look for the old Tomorrow Brewing Company in this, but they're not in this. Um, so, but anyways, yeah, um, it, it's a guide to all of the, uh, craft breweries, existing craft, 
like uh, in Ontario there. So, and it gives you their um, all the all the locations there. All right, so. <clears throat> All right, good. We switched into the profile. Let's go. All right, there we are. Oh, yeah. Okay, there we are. Okay. There we are. All right, so. Okay. All right, there we are. Hmm. Okay, now we got it going on. All right. So anyways, yeah. Um, mm, all right. So we will give you some countdowns now. Uh, all right. So anyways, Christmas is 42 days away. New Year's is 47 days away. Boxing Day is 43 days away. And winter time, I know no, no, you don't want to hear this at all. Um, it is 37 days away, 37, so, all right, so enjoy this weather while it lasts, you know, um, also a, a legendary rock and roller passed away last week, we'll have more on him, uh, throughout the blogcast, so, um, and we will get to local events near you. So, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. It's best of volume one from the past four years, from 2019 to 2022. Or 2018, best of uh, for when we debuted. Uh, from, yeah, you get the idea. Volume one, Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Right on. So, anyways, uh, let's see if I can get away with sharing more. Um, to more groups here and so your groups all right so uh two, 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 two. okay all right so two, two, two. let's see here mm. Mm. pop culture fans uh, the best of nostalgia, Navy present, TV movies, shows, addicts, classic TV shows that everyone loves. Mm. Mm, okay. Star Wars, Moss Eisley Cantina, Star Wars. All right. Um, okay. VE, uh, the Ultimate Van Halen's Fan Club. There we go. All right. Okay, we're working now. All right, so we're back. Uh, there we go. Uh, all right, let's see here. All right, so let's see. All right, okay. Okay. All right. Okay. So yeah, uh, thank you for joining me. Um, all right, so with local events, um, all right, before we get to local events, I have, it's like our craft beer for tonight. I am revisiting it and re-rating it um, under the old system. This I this first beer craft beer came to my attention October 27, 2019, episode 98. Um, I tried it for the very first time, and it was just wonderful. Oh my God, it was just like, heaven on if you were a craft beer guy or girl this is like heaven like i mean i got i gave it a four out of five and i'm gonna give it like uh a number out of ten later on the blog cast but it's from the old tomorrow brewing company in uh, toronto ontario mm. Mm. all right so yeah uh monty's rye aged ale it's got honey vanilla rye uh, caramel, and you can taste all of that in that. This is an all year round beer. So, oh yeah, and I'm pairing it up with like uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. Mm. And a Rocky Patel cigar here. 
So, so far the combination's been awesome. Mmm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, and I, I, again, I'm going to remind everybody that this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast too. Plus, I've got my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live YouTube. Um, I'm going to say hi to everybody. Give sh- everybody sh- uh, shouts out to the, all the Port Elgin Sarnia groups like uh, Lizard's Bar, Sarnia Rocks, Sarnia Ontario, um, all the craft beer cigars like uh, groups, the Chain Reaction. Glenn, you guys rock. Uh, we almost went last night to the Sarnia Imperial City Brew House, but somebody was tired. Okay. But pop culture, retro classic nostalgia groups, all the William Shatner, uh, the A-Team groups, um, pro wrestling. Oh, yeah, that's what I... All right. Um, uh, okay. Hmm, that's what I... Your groups. Um, hmm, okay. Okay. Hmm. Real pro wrestling talk. Okay. Wrestling, 70s, 80s, and 90s. Uh, retro wrestling all-stars. Okay, there we go. All right. So, hmm. Okay. So, anyways, yeah. Um, it. Uh, where was I? Oh, right. Uh, we just did, like, uh, birthday shows, countdowns, local, uh, we're getting local events right now. Oh, hmm. All right. Okay, so now with COVID, with the past four, with the past couple of years, um, local events have taken a backseat to COVID, but we're all back in full force. The, um, the, uh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding, okay? Nobody was tired. All right. Anyways, uh, the buzzwords were hiatus, rescheduled, canceled, or postponed, but no. But here we go with like with some local events here. All right. So, October 15th, from, from November on, uh, there are Saturday dances, 7 p.m. to 11 p.m. at the Sarnia Legion. They are downstairs. There's a $7 cover charge. They play, like, classic rock and country. Um, um, it, uh, 286 Front Street North. Saturday, November 19th, 8 p.m., the Killer Dwarfs, 40 years still standing to our Ruster. In Sarnia, www.ticketscene.ca. Dirt Cheap, a tribute, an ACDC tribute band, appears Saturday, February 18th, 2023, 7 p.m. at Jeannie Gordon Hall in Wallaceburg. It's $20 per person. Um, Wednesday, November 16th, I believe. Uh, True Fire, the band, they appear at Eastside Bar and Grill in London, Ontario, 750 Hamilton Road. Um... Saturday, December 17th, 2022, at 8 p.m., is Parker and Wheezy Acoustic Jam at Twisted Arm in Sarnia. Your host is the band Full Disclosure. Sunday, December 18th, Chemical Valley Wrestling presents Eight Crazy Fights. 6 p.m., River City Vineyard, 2260 Mitten Street, Sarnia. Tickets go on sale. They can, you can either buy them um, at River City or go on their Facebook page. So, all right. Um... Uh, Friday, January 27, 2023, at 8.30 p.m. is David Wilcox at the Horseshoe Tavern in Toronto, Ontario, 370 Queen Street West. Saturday, November 26, 8 p.m., Dirt Country at Ruster in Sarnia, Ontario, $10 at the, $15 at the door, $10 advanced. Saturday, November 19, 7 p.m. is My Son, the Hurricane at Patty Flaherty in Sarnia, Seaway Road. Sunday, November 20th, 9 a.m., Sarnia Moose Lodge is hosting their Sarnia Moose breakfast from 9 a.m. till 12 a.m. And there's a there's a good breakfast. I love that. Let's go to that. So, okay, all right, boom. There you go. All right. Okay. So there we are. Mm. All right. So we're gonna we're having a good time. Yeah. Mm. Mm. <coughs> mm. All right. So, okay. Okay. So, let's see here. Where can I share this more groups? Um. Mm. Okay. Mm. 
All right. Mm. Mm. All right. Do, do, do. Mm. All right. There we are. Mm. Exclusively Van Halen. There we are. Um. Hmm. Ultimate Classic Rock. There we are. Back. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Classic Action TV. Fuck. Wrestling fans. There we are. Hmm. Hardcore and underground music community. Fuck. There we are. All right. So. Hmm. I love the 80s. Fuck. 80s retro. There we are. Fuck. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Mm, let's see here. All right, there we are. Okay, we're back. All right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, it uh, our first. Okay, so our first, like, uh, from. Oh Christ! This was a couple of years ago. Hmm. 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 All right. So, I've got this movie on right now. It's called Kingdom of the Spiders. Um, it stars William Shatner. Okay, so it was released uh, 1977. All right, so <laughs> okay, so uh, yeah. Um, mm. Mm. Released uh, January or uh, by. Mm. Okay, let's see here. Single layer. Do, do, do. Um, all right. So yeah, King of the Spiders released in 1977, starring William Shatner as Rack Hansen, Tiffany Boiling as uh, Diane Ashley, Woody Strode as Walter Coby, and David McLean as Gene Smith. So basically, the plot of this movie. And here's the. Um, all right. So here's the principal cast: William Shatner and Tiffany Boiling. Um, all right. So basically, the plot of this movie: Doctor Rack, Doctor Rick Hansen, Rack, as his like uh, nickname suggests, is a veterinarian in Verde Valley, Arizona. Um, him and archaeologist Diane Ashley discover that several farm animals have died of uh, massive injections of spider venom. Local farmer Walter Colby tells Hansen and Ashley they found a massive spider. Um, that he killed a mass, found a massive spider and killed it on the back section of his farmland. Yada yada yada. All right. So due to the use of pesticides, these spiders have mutated, um, and all of a sudden, like um, like I said, um, they they begin putting like local residents in silk cac cocoon cocoons. Rack and Diane Ash, with the help of a local sheriff, are uh, trying to save the town, plotting to kill all the spiders. The spiders are everywhere. This movie... Um, all right. So this movie, um, basically, like... Uh, I talked about it a couple of years ago on... Uh, um, I don't remember which blogcast it was. Uh, doo -doo -doo, but anyways, yeah... Um, you got you have, to, you have to see it to believe it. If you can imagine Captain Kirk um, in a cowboy hat and a Texas a little bit of a Texas Southern drawl, um, then you can watch this movie. Um, there's like fake spiders. They they used like the, the this film used five thousand spiders, but um, uh, several live models were used also. Uh, the movie's budget was five million, or no, fifty thousand dollars of the movie's budget. The movie's budget was five million, but fifty thousand dollars went to like 
living spiders, and all 5,000 spiders have to be kept in separate cages as they were cannibals. So you can imagine how much of a pain in the ass that was. For uh, so that was somebody's job on the on the on the set of the movie to wrangle all these spiders, take care of them, look after them. I don't like no, not me. But uh, anyways, if you can imagine like uh, Captain Kirk in like a uh, in a cowboy hat with a Texas drawl, I can't stop all the spiders. They're invading my town. Scotty, set your set your phasers for stun. But it is an entertaining movie. Um, I've got it on right now. I uh, <coughs> excuse me. I um, there's like the the two main stars of the movie with a spider. You know, Captain Kirk. Um, all right. So, but I did post several scenes of the movie. Um, plus the trailer on my blog cast page and my regular page, so look for it. So, yeah. All right. All right. Mm. 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 That was my best, like, uh, William Shatner impersonation. I can't stop all the spiders. They're invading the town. Scotty, fetch your, set your phasers for stun. Okay, that, uh, I know that sucked. And so, um, mm, all right. So, anyways, yeah. So, welcome everyone to uh, Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. It's a best of volume one from the past four years, uh, four and a half years. It is Sunday, November 13th, 2022. I am uh, revisiting a classic craft brew, to, uh, craft, craft beer tonight. Monty's Rye Aged Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario. I first tried this, re reviewed and rated it on October, on the episode 98 on October 27, 2019 blogcast, and um, oh man, I gave it a 4 out of 5 back then I had um, I rated beers 4 out of 5 so mm. oh man, and it was it's craft beer heaven I mean, anybody out there watching this brew, this like blogcast, this is an all year round beer, I normally don't say that, and when it um, it's got like, and you can taste the vanilla, you can taste the caramel, you can taste the honey in it. Um, perfect. Old Tomorrow Brewery. I can't fa email you on Facebook, but my God, this is like perfection. Perfection in a craft beer. And I'm going to give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. So if you stick around, throw it a number and see if it like, uh, matches up with mine. But perfect. Mm. Oh God. Yes. I'm pairing it up with, like, uh, Crown Royal Vanilla tonight. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 Oh, yeah. Perfect combo. And what do we got here? Um, you know, uh, yeah. All right. And so, mm. all right. Mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, um, yeah. Hmm. I want to, okay. So, anyways, yeah. That. Uh, thank you for sticking around. Like, we'll get to season one of the A Team in a minute. But um, as I'm going to remind everybody, this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms you listen to your podcast to. Plus, my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Broadcast Live at YouTube. Um, shouts out to everybody watching. In the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, especially Sarnia Rocks, Michelle, you, you guys really rock. Um, all the uh, Chain Reaction, Glenn, guys, great kick, killer, kick-ass band there. Uh, all the pop culture, retro, classic, '80s nostalgia groups, '70s, '80s, '90s nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen groups, uh, the craft beer, cigars, the Star Wars, pro wrestling, classic TV and movies. Plus tonight, William Shatner. And the A-Team groups. So, yeah. Um, all right. And if you like us, share us, subscribe to us. Share us all over Facebook, please. So, yeah. Mm. All right. So, mm. okay. Mm. Mm. <coughs> A little bit later on the blogcast, after I rate the beer, I will explain to you my rating system, like from uh, 1 to 10. You know, um, beers you should 
get, beers you should avoid. But anyways, let's get on with this. Um, all right. Da, 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 da. We have the A-Team. All right. Mm, okay. Let me lay it all out here for you. It's the A-Team. Mm, all right. We've got the A-Team Season 1. All right. And later on in 2023, um, there'll be a five-parter. Five, we'll, we'll explore all five seasons of the A-Team. But I've got the complete collection. But right now, we're going to focus on the A-Team Season 1. So, anyways, here we go. All right. Ba, 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 ba. All right. If you can find them, maybe you can hire the A-Team. So, anyways... Uh, there's 14 episodes in, like, uh, in the A-Team Season 1. Uh, the A-Team debuted January 23rd, 1983 to May 10th, 1983. Um, the cast, George Pippard is Colonel Hannibal Smith. Um, it, uh, Tim Dunnigan. Oh, wait a minute, yeah. That's what, like, uh, all right. So, all right. Okay, here we go. All right, I gotta hold this up there. All right, so Tim, Tim Dunnigan, uh, First Lieutenant Templeton Peck, Face Man. He was in the two-hour pilot only, like, uh, and then they and then Dirk Benedict was a regular, like, uh, they, 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 the, the powers that be like wanted uh, Dirk Benedict uh, as Lieutenant Templeton Arthur Peck, uh, Dwight Schultz as Captain Murdoch, and Mr. T as or B.A. as B.A., First Sergeant, First Class, Bosco, Albert Baracus. Um, not pictured is uh, Melinda Cully, who uh, plays reporter Amy Allen. So, um, you have uh, um, guest stars on here, John Saxon. Um, now, the pilot, Mexican Sleigh Ride, Amy Allen researches and finds the A-Team. The A-Team is fired hired to help defend a Mac, uh, uh, village from a band of renegade soldiers. Uh, they overthrow the guerrillas, end up saving Amy and go home. Like I said, like, um, controversy. This was the first, uh, Tim Dunnigan right here was the first, like, uh, Templeton Pack, but Stephen J. Cannell, the producer, wanted, like, Dirk Benedict. NBC didn't want Dirk Benedict at all. Uh, they, they wanted Tim Dunnigan, but... Stephen J. Cannell fought for uh, fought for Dirk Benedict. Um, the key episodes here: Children's of Jamestown. Uh, the A team is hired to rescue uh, 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 um, a general's daughter from a religious cult. Uh, John Saxon, like uh, legendary character actor John Saxon, is the Reverend Martin Jones. Um, Throughout the series, and we'll explore this theme, the running gags of, like, the A-Team. Um, it, uh, they end up breaking out Murdoch out of a mental hospital. Somebody's drugging B.A. because B.A. is afraid of flying. Um, now, Melinda Cully, uh, she appeared in the, in the first season of the A-Team only. Like, she, like, uh, you know, in half of the second season. But we will explore that. Later on next year in 2023 with a five-parter. Um, her and George, co-star George Pippard did not get along at all. Uh, allegedly, George Pippard didn't like the character and made his feelings knowing about know, known about it. Um, the A-Team was like an instant ratings smash hit for NBC. Um, yeah, so anyways, it's main competition here. Excuse me. Um... All right, it's main ratings competition here. Let me. It debuted. All right, so you got this. Here's the NBC. Here's the network primetime schedule for 1983. Um, from 8 p.m. to 9 p.m. CBS had Bring Him Back Alive, this TV show, which I'll cover in 2023 as a one-hit wonder. This was a cool TV show too, but you you uh, put it up against the A Team, and it died. All right. I'll tell you right now, it just died. So, yeah, and you had um, Happy, over at ABC, you had Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, and Joni Loves Chachi. So, yeah, um, another one-hit, two-season hit wonder, 
Joni Loves Chachi, Happy Days, which was probably, I think, in its last season, and Laverne and Shirley, which also was probably in its last season, too. So, yeah, there it is. There's the uh, lineup for uh, Primetime Network schedule, the A-Team against, like, uh, CBS's Bring Them Back Alive. Like I said, this is a cool TV show. We're going to get more on this in 2023 as a one-hit wonder. Um, it starred Bruce Boxleitner, um, but it was a cool TV show, too. Um, yeah, Happy Day. Over on ABC, they had, like, uh, hmm. Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley uh, with, like, a season, like, mid-season replacement, Joni Loves Chachi, which was a spin-off of Happy Days. And we, we covered that in a couple of, uh, couple of years ago. Uh, Happy Days, uh, Joni Loves Chachi, especially being a two-season hit wonder. So, mm. oh, yeah. All right. <coughs> I posted several uh, clips from the A-Team Season 1 on my Facebook page, my blogcast page. So, anyways... If you're, all right, and this little puppy, all right, see a very own A-Team lunchbox. Now, when, all right, guys, when you're um, in, a, in a paramilitary group, you know, for hire, and you're running from the government, it's best that you better pack a lunch when you're with three other dudes in a van. When you're hired on to, uh, you know, battle the corrupt, uh, supermarket owner or the corrupt uh, mobster trying to tear down a community center pack a lunch and this one the a-team lunch box will be perfect for that so i'll open it up look at that lots of space inside there for a ak-47 couple of grenades a sandwiches and a thermos so there you go all right remember when you're on the run from the government three other dudes in a in a gmc van or you're hired on to uh you're hired, some young lady hires you to, uh, you know, um, save the community center from uh, unscrupulous mobsters, pack a lunch. All right? Highly recommend it. All right. There you go. Okay. So, all right. So, yeah. All right. Mmm. 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 <coughs> all right. So, oh yeah, um, legendary character actor Lance Legault appears, would, would appear as, um, oh God, uh, oh God, brain fart here. He appears, he is a legendary character actor, and he appears as uh, Colonel Roderick Decker, and he's in charge of capturing the A-Team. My man. All right. Fuck. Okay. So I'll put that back up here. There you go. The complete collection of the A team. Television violence at its finest. So there we go. All right. Okay. And we've got another. Okay. Wait a minute here. And we got another. Uh, uh, this was like Colonel. Uh, one of the uh, guys to bring down, ca try and capture the A-Team. Uh, he's played by legendary character actor William... Oh, he's on Sons of Anarchy. I can't remember his name right now. Um, all right, so there we go. But yeah. Ooh, ooh. All right. If you, got, if you get a chance, pick up the complete collection of the A-Team, all five seasons on, uh, on, on DVD. But the first season, you know what? Great... Yeah, so season one of the A-Team, oh, there you go, complete cast there. Dun, 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 dun. I mean, it, I wonder how much it would cost to hire the A-Team now, nowadays. So if anybody can, like, uh, tell me that. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right, so, mm. okay. All right, so we're having a good time here. Now, my craft beer for tonight. Um, mm, all right, so my craft beer for tonight. And when I do craft beer reviews, I don't go, oh, well, yeah, she's a very exquisite, fine tasting craft beer. You know, it's very, you know, I, I go with my gut. I, I don't use fancy words or fancy phrases. 
I just go with my gut on that. So what do we got here? Just reading a notification. All right. So, um, yeah. All right. Okay. So, but, um, yeah, tonight's craft beer, and it is a classic craft beer. I, uh, we're revisiting and re-reviewing a classic craft beer tonight. This was from October 27, 2019, episode 98 of Big Jim Blogcast Live. It is Monty's Rye Aged Ale. It is by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, and it's just perfect. I rated it a 4 out of 5. Oh, my God. It was just... I brought back up. This, was what, this along with, like, uh, Sarni Imperial City's Brewhouse um, Goodbye Gravity is my go-to beer. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. Silky smooth, great tasting. Um, I'm re-rating it. I will give it a rating out of 10 later on the blogcast. If you think you know what I'm going to rate it, throw it a number by the end. If you're still here, you can throw it a number. See if it matches up with mine. But, yeah, it's an all it's an all year round beer. Oh, my, and I don't usually often say that. So, all right. Mm. Pairing it up with, like, uh, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mm. All right. Hot. Mm. Mm. Oh, going down smoothly tonight. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, I got the movie on right now. You should see it. You should get it out. King of the Spiders. There's spiders all over the bed. There's William Shatner trying to save this young lady. We've got to get out of right town right now. Scotty, fetch your, set your phasers for stun. Maybe, Sue. Maybe. You're close enough. I don't know. Hmm. Hmm. I've got a nice Rocky Patel cigar from Riverfront Cigars. <coughs> All right. Mm. Oh, yeah. Oh. So. All right. And as I will, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. It's a best of volume one. Um, I'll tell you right now, you're not going to see me next weekend. The weekend after that will be volume two, best of. So, um, anyways... Yeah, uh, where was I? Yeah, that's right. So this bell, I, I'm going to remind everybody tonight, this blogcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms. This is your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live on YouTube. Um, Shouts out to everybody watching in the Sarnia Port Elgin groups, especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um... Sarnia, Ontario. What's up, Sarnia? You gotta love Sarnia 2.0. Um, Chain Reaction. Got Glenn. Glenn and the guys are an excellent kick-ass band. Um, all the pop culture, retro, classic, nostalgia, 70s, 80s, 90s groups. All the Van Halen groups. All the crap beer, cigars, Star Wars, pro wrestling, classic TV and movies. Plus the A-Team groups and the William Shatner groups. You guys really rock. So... All right, so what do we got here? Just reading that. Okay. All right, so, okay. Um, yeah. Mm. 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 <coughs> All right, so thank you for tuning in to the Best Of Volume 1 of Big Jim Blogcast Live. Over the past four and a half years, we've been in, in existence, so... We, I wouldn't. We wouldn't be anywhere if it were uh, if it were without for you, the followers. Um, we're nearing 500 almost. Great, good. You know what? Let's in, let's get those increase those numbers. So all right. So yeah. Hmm. All right. So okay. So now we get to some. We get to um, a Star Wars speeder bike. Whoa. Oh yeah. All right. This is a, your a typical uh, speeder bike, where it be used by the Empire or the Rebellion. So, they are open repulsor lift vehicles that emphasize speed and maneuverability, like over stability. Like, look at that. There's the front version. Whoa, that's like awesome, right? Fuck. There you go. Um, now, its first appearance, uh, the Jedi used the uh, under. Underclass jump speeder manufactured by Kuwait. This was manufactured by Kuwait Vehicles, designed. Uh, it was for the Jedi Order and regional military patriots. Now the Imperials used a different one, the 614 AVA speeder bike, 
known as the Lothal Speeder Bike, manufactured by the Aerotech Propulsor Company. Um, it was used by Imperial soldiers for rapid transit. It was phased out by the 74-2 Speeder Bike, and they had terrain sensors which connected, which connected to an HUD that sent uh, that all scout troopers could tell what was ahead of them. Um, anybody could use this um, from your from your uh, from your rebel pilot, your rebel, your, from the rebellion to the the uh, shock trooper, stormtrooper. There, so yeah. Um, so, all right. So, anyways, yeah. Um, CK6 swoop bikes uh, designed, modified to operate in freezing weather. They were used by clone troopers. Uh, they featured a heated cockpit and were equipped with dual laser cannons. Here's your dual laser cannons right here. Uh, your controls right here. Your flaps right there. Your engine. Um, now, 30 years after the Battle of Endor, 74-2 uh, speeder bikes could be found on the black market. So, anyways, yeah. Um, now, okay. Here's... Basically, here's your directional weather vanes right here. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -da. Your blaster cannon. Um, your maneuver controls right here. So, there you go. Um, your power cell under here. Your repulsor lift engines. And then your uh, altitude controls are back here. But it looks pretty deadly. It looks, looks kind of cool. Like, I mean, fuck. Uh, you've seen these. These were in Return of the Jedi. Um, so these are your speeder bikes, and I posted the complete like backstory. Um, look at that, imagine that coming at you. So, um, yeah, all right, there's your Star Wars Empire Strikes Back Return of the Jedi, um, speeder bike. So, all right, okay, and you get, I have the visual, the Star Wars visual dictionary. So, let's see. Where was that? Mm, okay. Ooh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. There you go. There it is. Right there. There's a whole, like, uh, speeder bike right there. Um, guidance liquid. That version. The speeder bike. The impo light imperial repulsor lifts. Uh, high velocities. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. There you go. So, right there. Mm. Okay. And that was from the Star Wars Visual Dictionary. So, mm. all right. Mm. Okay. Boom. And like I said, I posted uh, um, more of the backstory on the speeder bikes on my uh, Facebook page and my blogcast page. Oh. Mm. <laughs> Good cigar. It's a Rocky Patel, uh, Connecticut, from uh, Riverfront Cigars, right here in Sarnia, Ontario, Canada. So, all right. Um, mm, okay. So, anyways, yeah, I've, I've got that movie on the uh, Kingdom of the Spiders. It's like, okay, you can, if you can imagine Cap William Shatner, imagine Captain Kirk in a cowboy hat, attempting a, like a little bit of a southern drawl. Well, I can't stop the spiders. I'm coming into my town. They're all over the place. They're climbing. Scotty, fetch your, fetch your phasers for stun. Maximum impact. Thank you. All right. That, that, that was my attempt at a William Shatner impersonation. So, um, yeah, it is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. It's a best of volume one. Mm. Mm. <coughs> so, yeah, the speeder bikes were from, like, Episode 89, uh, Saturday, September 28th, 2019. So, all right. Um, before we get to our classic tag team of the night, um, I got, like, uh, it, it, it is Monty's, our classic craft beer. We're revisiting a classic craft beer night. It is Monty's Rye Aged Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company. I'm going to top that up. Um, ooh, baby. All right. Oh, my God. This, I gave this... I first reviewed this October 27th, episode 98. 
2019, episode 98, and I gave it a 4 out of 5. So, um, under my new system, which I implemented a couple of year, a year and a half ago, I think, but now, oh, perfection. Just perfection. They made a great beer. This is the go-to beer. One of my go-to craft beers is Monty Ra Age Rye Ale by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Um, and, uh, yeah, uh, it's an all-year-round beer. I don't usually say that. Um, now, I'm going to give it a rating out of 10 later on in the blogcast, so if you are sticking around at that at this point, like, um, just, yeah, see if your number jives up with mine. It's an all-year-round beer. It's good for those uh, bonfires. It's good for, like, uh, the beach. Um, barbecues. Barbecues, the beach, bonfires. When you're out in the back deck with your buddies. Yeah, fuck. Um, and I'm... Pairing it up, I'm chasing it down with Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, damn. Okay. Mm. Oh, yeah. Damn good. All right. So, mm. 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 <coughs> All right. So, here we All right. So, let's see. Okay, here we go. Before we get to our the warlord and the barbarian here, um, mm, all right. So, mm, all right, the warlord and the barbarian. All right. So, anyways, now before we get to them, I want to remind everybody that this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on uh, Spotify, Anchor FM, all these audio listening platforms you're listening to your podcast to, plus my own YouTube channel. Big Jim Blogcast live at YouTube, on YouTube.com. Um, shouts out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, like especially Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. You're a friend of the Blogcast. Um, Sarnia, you got to love Sarnia 2.0. Um, what's up, Sarnia? Um, Sarnia, anything goes. Uh, Chain Reaction, great. Glenn and the guys, killer kick-ass band. Um Plus, all the Van Halen groups, all the pop culture, retro classic 80s and 70s, 80s nostalgia groups, the craft beer, cigar groups, the Star Wars groups, pro wrestling groups, classic TV and movies, blog, and plus William Shatner and the uh, A-Team groups. So, yeah. All right, so now we get to our classic tag team of the night, uh, the Powers of Pain, uh, Barbarian and Warlord. Their combined weight, 623 pounds. Uh, they debuted in 1987. Um, Barbarian was managed by Paul, jo jo uh, Paul Jones, uh, joined the NWA in 1986. Warlord also joined the NWA in 1986. They actually started feuding with each other. Now, they stopped feuding and they teamed up as the Powers of Pain. So if you think they're, they modeled their look after the Road Warriors, you're, you're, you're right. You're basically right. So um, and they were in the NWA from 1987 to 1988. They team up. They were joined by Ivan Koloff. They started feuding with the Road Warriors, um, Animal and Hawk. They had a bench press contest between the two teams. Um, but uh, there was a legit injury to Animal's eye socket when they rammed his head into a stack of weights. Uh-oh. They won the six-man tag team titles, teaming with Ivan Koloff from the Road Warriors and Dusty Rhodes. Uh, they left the NWA still, cha still champions. They, re, uh, re, they refused to do the scaffold matches. Uh, they were stripped of the titles. June of 1988, uh, they joined the WWF. They were originally managed by T Tito Santana. They feuded with the tag team champions there, Demolition. Um, they had a 1988 SummerSlam pay-per-view victory over the Bolsheviks. Uh, 1989, they feuded with the Hart Foundation, the Bushwhackers, the Rockers, the 1989 Survivor Series. Um, they were on the Million Dollar Team with, like, Ted DiBiase. Um, they were disqualified for uh, double-teaming double Hulk Hogan. Um, March of 1990, the Powers of Pain split up. Their final match was March 25th from a loss to the Hulk Hogan, a big boss man. They would reunite in... Uh, June of 19, or January of 1992, they uh, 
losing a match to the New Heart Foundation, Owen Hart and Jim Neidhart. They joined WCW in no November of 1995. They were put in mass and managed by Colonel Rob Parker. Um, they had they feuded with like the American males, Scotty Riggs and uh, Buff Bagwell. Um, they had three losses to the Nasty Boys and the Sting and Lex Luger. Warlord leaves WCW due to injuries. Uh, Barbarian joins the Faces of Fear. Um, they broke up uh, in 2000. Like now, they have reunited. Uh, they are on the independent circuit. Uh, they wrestle for Gladiator Championship Wrestling, big time wrestling. So, um, and I posted several of their matches and their promos on my blogcast page. Mm, all right. Okay. Hold on a sec here. Uh, there you go. All right. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. Okay. So. Mm. 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 Um. <laughs> okay. So yeah. The powers of pain. The barbarian and the warlord. So there you go. Mm. All right. Oh, what do we got here? Just, uh, oh, oh, okay. All right. There we go. Okay. All right. So, mm, mm. Mm. <coughs> got a good cigar here. A Rocky Patel, uh, vintage Connecticut from Riverfront Cigars. All right. And so, okay. Mm. Mm. All right, uh, we've got a one-hit wonder, kind of a boy band type coming up, but, uh, you know, my craft beer for tonight, um, I got to tell you, uh, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0 episode, no, it's a best of volume one, Sunday, November 13th, 2022, thank you for tuning in and watching, um, our craft beer for tonight it is called Monty's Rye Aged Ale, and this is the second time I'm reviewing it. It, uh, I, this is a classic craft beer. We're revisiting it. Uh, it's by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario. And I first uh, tried this on the, uh, on uh, episode 98, October 27, 2019, Big Jim Blogcast Live, and I gave it a four out of five rating. Oh my God! And it is like, it still holds up. It's, uh, you've got smoky caramel. Caramel in here, rye. Um, mm. Oh, damn. Perfect. It's an all-year-round beer. Um, it's a barbecue, base beach, beach beer. Uh, it's a back deck beer, uh, patio beer. Um, now, oh, man. So, yeah. Um, and I do give it a rating out of 10. I'm going to give it a re-rating at a... 10 later on the blogcast. So if you think you know what I'm going to rate it, stick around. Throw out a number there. As I see so many, as a few people have done. So, but it, yeah, oh God. Pairing it up with Crown Royal Vanilla. Um, mm, yeah. Mm, mm, mm. God damn. Yeah, perfect. Just perfect. Um, and yeah. Mm. <clears throat> Later on, after I review the beer, give it a number, I'll go over my rating system. I'll explain what my rating system so to you, to, to, to everybody out there. Um, so, mm, okay. Mm, all right. All right. Okay. So, all right. Mm. A little bit of a gong time there. Okay. Um, my, uh, all right, so here we go. This is Soul Decision. Now, do you remember these guys? Who remember these guys? There's like, um, I, this was like a couple of years ago. Blogcast 83, I think it was, um, that I, re that uh, I came across this band. They were a one-hit wonder, but, uh, they had some good, they had some good tunes, I'll admit it. Um, Trevor Guthrie, the lead singer. There are three guys in this band. Uh, 
David Berman, the singer, uh, Ken Luco, keyboards, James Reed. Um, now, they were originally called Indecision, but it was a name conflict with an American band. They changed their name to Soul Decision. Now, they released their first studio album, Nobody Does It Better, released February 22nd, 2000, in Canada. The first single, Faded, hit number one in Canada and number 22 on the U.S. charts. The follow-up single, Ooh, it's kind of crazy, I've been thinking maybe, gotta get you out of my mind. They were, they were catchy songs. They, this was the number one, okay, it hit number one in North America. It was number one request on MTV Total Request Live. One million copies were sold worldwide. July 2000 Canadian tour, they were supporting uh, uh, Christina Aguilera, um, 2001 tour. They toured with Destiny's Child. They were a support act to like, um, oh, okay. They were like a support act to like, uh, in sync um so yeah um now in the middle of that tour like um you know they were selling millions of records for for a, a band like this to to pull all that off like the number one in the world is unheard of especially from canada um now well they were on that tour trevor guthrie the lead singer this dude decided to break up the band uh, he disbanded Soul Decision in 2005. He didn't like being labeled a boy band. Felt misrepresented. Um, didn't want to be like uh, you know the Backstreet Boys or Hansons. He's like now a DJ solo artist. He's got no plans to reunite uh, Soul Decision. Now I posted several of their videos. Ooh, it's kind of crazy. Um, and her, uh, and and um, nobody does it. Or ooh, it's kind of crazy. I've been thinking maybe and faded um, on my blogcast page and my regular page. Um, plus an interview with Trevor Guthrie, what he was what he was up to. Um, but well, the dude's got like, uh, he's got like uh, principles, moral principles. He, like you break up a band in the middle, like uh, at the end, in the middle of the, towards the end of the tour because you don't like the musical direction you're headed in. Oh, okay. He's got guts, he's a gutsy guy. So, but yeah, and um, this leads me to my next, uh, <laughs> all right. So anyways, yeah, this was your one hit wonder. All the girls were going crazy over them. Um, but it leads me into this guy. All right. So, mm, um, this Lou Perlman. All right. So anyways, um, this is the manager he was uh, the, the the late Lou Pearlman. Um, he was he put together the Backstreet Boys. He was the manager of the Backstreet Boys. Now O Town, LFO, the late Aaron Carter, Take Five. Um, he is the first cousin of musician Art Garfunkel. Um, in the late 1970s, he launches an aviation blimp business in Germany. There he is, right there. Um, he returns to the U.S. He forms Airship Enterprises, uh, which leases blimps, leasing blimps to companies like McDonald's and SeaWorld. He relocates to Orlando, Florida. He raised $3 million cash by taking his company public. The share price pumped up to $6 a share, then dropped to $0.03. Three cents. The company shot was shut down. Um, I was, uh, some time ago, I was watching a documentary on this guy. Um... He starts Transcontinental Records. His first band was the Backstreet Boys. Uh, they were selected by Lou Pearlman personally. The Backstreet Boys... Um, hmm. um, yeah, the record sales top 130 million. Um, <clears throat> okay, so anyways, yeah, long story short, um, Every Backstreet Boy was selected by Lou Pearlman. Um, they go on to sell like um, 130 million copies worldwide. Um, and uh, then the Backstreet Boy, like there was a problem though. Um, it uh, he was listing himself as the sixth member of the Backstreet Boys. He was like uh, dipping it, like he was claiming himself as co-songwriter, co-performer, co-everything. And he was the one making all the money. Well, the members of the Backstreet Boys each were collecting like $600 a month. So 
if you see something wrong with that math like I do, okay, so um, you're not alone. I mean, they, um, the Backstreet Boys, like, uh, felt the contract, their, their, the record contract they signed was unfair. Um, they, Perlman made millions of dollars while the band only saw 300 grand of that money. Um, Aaron Carter, the leader of Aaron Carter, they, so they dropped him, they sued him, um, they wanted, they wanted to, like, get rid of him. Aaron Carter, as a side note, also sued Lou Perlman. Um, as in response to that, um, here's the Backstreet Boys. Um, in response to that, as a fuck you to the Backstreet Boys, he formed In Sync. So, all right. Um, as like, and In Sync, over time, realized that Perlman was a scumbag, and dropped him and sued him too for um, damages. Because he was doing the same thing to NSYNC he was doing to, like, uh, the Backstreet Boys. So, now, the other thing, Perlman defrauds investors of over $3 million uh, uh, for companies that only existed on paper. Transcontinental Airlines didn't, like, uh, exist at all. Only on paper. And this guy, I thought, fuck, the ball's on this guy. Even in, this, in the internet age. Like, I mean, fuck. They could have, like, uh, you know... Any anytime you could have you could have Googled Transcontinental Airlines and figured out like that, you know it was like a fake. Yeah, it was like a, um, an airplane company, like an airline company, but there was no airline. So, all right. So yeah. Um, ooh. So, but anyways. Hmm. Hmm. <coughs> this. This all, this this was there was a happy ending for the Backstreet Boys and In Sync, and any other boy band or anybody else connected to Lou Pearlman, because Pearlman, um, prosecutors issued an arrest warrant for Pillman who flew, he flew to Indonesia, um, to uh, to for like uh, you know, because he knew he was going to get busted. Um, and uh, pro U.S. prosecutors issued an arrest warrant, uh, but he was brought back to, he was to the U.S. to stand trial. There was no extradition treaty between the U.S. and uh, Indonesia. Now, June 27, 2007, Perlman was indicted of bank fraud. Any kind of fraud, like, it was a Ponzi scheme. And he was sentenced to 25 years in prison. Um, he filed for bankruptcy. Um... Now, August 19, 2016, no, 2008, he begins his, like, uh, prison sentence, but he passes away in prison um, August 19, 2016. So, and, uh, yeah, they, they, Backstreet Boys and uh, NSYNC successfully sued to get rid of Perlman. Um, it, I, he still, the late Perlman still had a piece of, of the Backstreet Boys and the, uh, in uh, sync merch and songwriting and all that, but it wasn't. But they they were finally legally free of Perlman. So uh, yeah, and I posted like interviews with like Blue Perlman on my uh, on my back on my uh, blogcast page. But the the fucking balls on this guy, the nerve of this guy, <laughs> holy shit! And they all wanted to call that Perlman. All all of all, like when he was in charge of all these boy bands, they all wanted he wanted them to call him Big Papa. If it, that isn't creepy enough. Here's a close-up of Perlman. And so, anyways, yeah. Um, but uh, it was a good decision on uh, business decision on the part of the Backstreet Boys and um, and uh, NSYNC. And anybody else that was connected with, like, uh, Lou Perlman. So, mm, all right. All right, so, okay, so, all right, um, I feel no sympathy for Perlman, um, even Simon Cowell hated the guy, oh, mm. <coughs> all right, so, yeah, Simon Cowell hated the guy, um, 
Perlman tried to say that him and Simon Cowell have a friendly rivalry. Simon Cowell fought, uh, snapped back and said, no, there is no friendly rivalry. I don't want anything to do with this guy. So, you know, and that's saying something when Simon Cowell himself uh, does not want to, uh, does not want to, like, have anything to do with you. Um, all right. So, okay. All right. Boom. Okay. So, anyways, this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, Best of Volume 1. Um, over the next couple of weeks, you won't see me next weekend. Uh, over the next couple of weeks, uh, uh, last Sunday in November and maybe a couple of Sundays in December, I will send Volume 2, Volume 3, and Volume 4, Best of. And then there's going to be a new blogcast Friday, December 27th, 7 p.m. So, that's that. It is Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Mm. 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 All right, I got to relight this puppy. So, anyways, uh, hold on here. Mm. All right. Mm. <coughs> oh, yeah. Rocky Patel. Connecticut from Riverfront Cigars. Mm, all right. So, our craft beer for tonight. Um, uh, this is Monty's Rye Aged Ale. I'm revisiting it and re-reviewing it. I first reviewed it, this beer on the uh, episode 98, Big Jim Blogcast Live, October 27, 2019. It is Monty Rye, Monty's Rye, Aged Rye Ale from the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. And God, I gave it a four out of five. Um, but tonight I'm giving it a number out of ten. So, but yeah, I got to tell you, it is heaven on the lit on your taste buds. Mm. It is a good barbecue. It is a good beach beer. It's an all year round beer. It goes down silky smooth. There's caramel. Um, what else is in this? Um, oh my God. Um, it's honey. Vanilla flavor, caramel, and you can taste it all. Oh, God, yeah. It's my go-to beer. Um, so I'm re-reviewing it, re-rating it, uh, revisiting it. Um, yeah, so. Mm, mm. All right, I got to set, hold on here. Um, I got to look for, do, 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 do. All right, so send in messenger. Um, mm. Old tomorrow. Old tomorrow brewery. Come on. Ah, crap. I can't. Yeah, you know. But if you're out there, Old Tomorrow Brewery, you've made a damn good beer. And I'm chasing it down with like uh, um, Crown Royal Vanilla, which is a good com combo. Mm. Yeah, you can't ask. It's heaven sent. Mm. Mm. And after I give the the beer a rating, I'll explain my like. Uh, I'll, expl I'll 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 go over my rating system with with all of you, like uh, from one to ten. You know what? Uh, ten being the best, one being you know I'll save it for later. Um, all right, so. Mm. All right. Mm. 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 <coughs> all right. So anyways, um, before we get, uh, we're going to get to my most favorite, we're going to do like on this day in Van Halen history next. But, um, ooh, a little bit of gongs there. Yeah. Um, oh yeah. Uh, good, uh, rock and roll legend passed away last week. So, um, but, uh, yeah. Um, I want to say, uh, uh tell you that this is Big Jim Blogcast Live, Best of Volume 1, Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Um, we are not spam. Uh, like us, share, subscribe to us all over Facebook. Um, my audio version, the audio version of Big Jim Blogcast Live will go out later on Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Blogcast Live at YouTube. I um, want to say hi to everybody watching in the Port Elgin groups, all the Sarnia groups, like Sarnia Rocks. Uh, Michelle, you guys rock. Um, Sarnia then goes. You gotta love Sarnia 2.0. Um, what's up, Sarnia? 
uh, Chain Reaction, Glenn, guys, you a uh, killer kick-ass band there. Uh, all the pop culture, retro classic 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, nostalgia groups, all the uh, Van Halen groups, all the crappier cigars, Star Wars, um, sci-fi groups, all the pro wrestling, all the blog spot, classic TV and movies, and plus uh, William Shatner and the A-Team. So, yeah. Um, all right. So, mm. Mm. <coughs> all right. So, yeah. Um, mm. Later on, we'll get to a motivational quote from blogcast number 75. Um, yeah, so, um, all right. So we get to, we get to my most favorite time. It is on this day in Van Halen history. Mm. All right, so, all right, here we go. It is on this day in Van Halen history. October 13th, 1991, Van Halen played the PNE Playland Coliseum in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. Uh, October 13th, 1990, or no, November 13th, 1999, uh, David Lee Roth plays Stubbs Arena in Austin, Texas. Um, November 13th, 1991, Van Halen plays the PNE Coliseum, Playland Coliseum in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada. And that is all. Mm. For this week in Van Halen history. For this, on this day in Van Halen history, sorry. Um, all right. Now, a rock, rock and roll legend passed away, um, mm. just this, like, last Tuesday, November 8th. He is Dan McCafferty of the band Nazareth. Um, Nazareth needs no explanation. Um, their hit songs, Hair of the Dog. Now you're messing with the sun. The son of a bitch. All right. So I saw Nazareth like years and years ago when they came to play, when they come to play in Sarnia. Nazareth music um, reaches, plays all over the world. Um, Signature song, like Hair of the Dog, you know. Um, yeah, so here we go. Um, to Mr. Dan McCafferty of Nazareth, here's to you, son. Um, mm. Cheers, and wherever you are. It's a five-gong salute to, to Dan McCafferty. There we go. There you are, sir. May you rest in peace. He passed away last Tuesday at the age of 76. So, effectively ending, uh, I think, Nazareth. So, there you go. All right. So, all right. So, okay. This is Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0. It's a best of volume one. It is Sunday, November 13th, 2022. Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> All right, so, yeah, now, mm -hmm. so, um, yeah, we're like, uh, mm, this is a best of volume one, volume two, volume three, volume four are going to happen, um, not next weekend, but the next Sunday after that, um, two more blog, like, uh, best of Big Jim Blogcast Live in December, then an all-new last blogcast of the year, episode 237, I think it is, will be on Friday, December 30th, 7 p.m., so, um, yeah, pre-New Year's Eve, like, you know, so, anyways, uh, what do we got here, uh, all right, reading my notifications, there we go, all right, so, hmm, hmm. Mm. <laughs> All right. So, anyways, um, mm. Mm. all right. Mm. Okay. So, okay. All right. There we are. All right. So, all right. So, anyways, I am going to give you my rating for this beer. All right. So, if you think you know what it is. 
can throw in a number because now it's time. All right. My last words on this beer. I first reviewed this beer on October 27th, 2019, episode 98. I gave it a four out of five. It's by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in uh, Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Mm. Let me top this beer up. Mm. All right. So, oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, whoa. All right. Ooh, okay, stop. You can stop now. All right. It is silky smooth. There's caramel. There's vanilla. There's honey in it. Um, I got to tell you, um, it's a it's an all round beer. Yeah, it's good for like uh, it's good for when you come back after skiing. It's good for when you come back. Um, you know, it's a beach beer. It's a barbecue beer. It's a patio beer out back on the deck with your buddies. Mm. Mm. And this is like. My, one of my go-to beers. The other go-to beer is um, uh, Goodbye Gravity by the Sarnia Imperial City Brew House. So, Monty's Rye Aged Ale. Um, I'm going to throw out a number here. And, uh, okay, so, here we go. There we are. 10 out of 10. Oh my God! It is just um, yeah. Mm. There we go. Yeah, I like that. All right, ten out of ten. You couldn't find a more perfect beer than this. Um, Monty's Rye Aged Ale, um, instant classic uh, by the Old Tomorrow Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Ten out of ten. It hits all my buttons. It clicks. It, it checks all the boxes. Um, and so yeah, it's a it's a it's an all round beer. All year round beer. Mm. Goes down smoothly. There's no unpleasant aftertaste to it. Um, you can taste the honey. You can taste the caramel. You can taste like the van vanilla in it. Um, 10 out of 10. And damn. Wow. I got to give that a five gong salute there. So, boom. All right. All right. Mm. And you pair it up with like. Um, Crown Royal Vanilla, um, and a good cigar. This is like uh, um, a Connecticut Rocky Patel, Connecticut. Mmm. Mmm. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah. You can't go wrong with that. Fuck it. Perfect combination. I mean, yeah. Ten out of ten. So, mmm. Yeah. Okay. So. 10 out of 10, um, Monty's Rye Aged Ale. You know, and Susan, you were close, but not close enough. Close, but no cigar. Um, all right. So, okay. So I'm, I'm going to explain my rating system to you. Now, some time ago, when I first started out this blogcast, I rated beers 4 out of 5. And then I changed it to, ten, like, out, rating them out of 10. So, okay, here we go. Now, with the rating system... 8, 9, and 10 are heaven sent. Instant classic, perfect. Okay. 7 to 6, you know, drink, do again, you know, fuck. Uh, all right, good good enough, you know. But up here is the, it, it'll become your go-to beer, you know. So, um, yeah. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right. Well, good thing, yeah, good thing. All right. Um yeah, but uh, five, six, if you're in the five to six range, if I rate that, drink at your own risk or peril. Um, it might not be for me, but it may be for you. If it's, if the beer falls into a one, two, three, or four, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to put it at the devil won't even drink that beer. Or, you know, it turns an alcoholic sober. It turns in, if you're drinking that the beer that I rate, like the one, two, three, or four, if you're an alcoholic, it's going to turn you sober faster than you can say that, you know. Or it was brewed in a sewage plant. So there you go. So there, there, yeah, there's the rating system right there. So, all right. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Once again, it, in the upper echelon, eight, nine, and ten, heaven sent, instant classic, perfect beer, the go-to beer. Um, yeah. No hesitation, 
just get it in the lo your local liquor store or the craft brewery. Uh, seven six drink or do again, you know. Hey, it's good enough. Five to six, it's nothing to write really write home about. Drink at your own risk or peril. Um, if it's rated one to, to four, uh, like I said, it turns an alcoholic sober. And believe me, there are some crap beers out there that I, you know, that that will do that. The devil won't even drink it. Satan won't even drink it. Um, or it was brewed in a sewage plant. Um, you know, brewed with sewage. Like, I mean, there you go. There's the rating system. So, all right. Um, all right. So, yeah. Mm. Okay. Mm. 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 <coughs> Gwen, I see you just joined us. Hello, Gwen. Susan. All right. So, okay. If you're just tuning in, I gave this beer, um, Monty's Rye Aged Ale, a 10 out of 10. I re I'm revisiting this beer. Uh, um, this is the best of volume one. Um, I'm re revisiting this beer from October 27, 2019, episode 98, where I gave it a 4 out of 5, and I'm re-reviewing it tonight. 10 out of 10. Goddamn. Perfect. Go out and get this. Get a 6-pack of it. Get a 12-pack of it. Mmm. 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 Damn good beer. And, uh, yeah, it's an all-year-round beer. And I'm chasing it down with, like, Crown Royal Vanilla. Mmm. 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 All right. Mmm. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah. With a nice cigar, it's like a Rocky Patel. Uh, mm, Connecticut. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> All right, so. <coughs> All right, so if you can find, <clears throat> this is the Growler. It is a Ontario Craft Beer Guide. I don't think uh, I've tried to look for the old Tomorrow Brewery Company in this in this guide. It's got every craft brew. Um, this was mm, it is Volume Four, Issue One of the Growler. So, um, hmm. Hmm. yes, and so, hmm. and it's got all sorts of like, there you go, craft breweries in it, like, uh, hmm. Hmm. okay, hmm. anything yum, yeah, oh yeah, all right, so, hmm. so if you're looking, if you are, uh, looking to visit any craft breweries in Ontario, this is your guide. All right, so, mm, okay. So before I, uh, okay. So anyways, I wanted to reiterate that this broadcast isn't spam, okay? We're not spam. So like us, share up, subscribe to us all over Facebook. Um, so my, uh, this broadcast is not spam. The audio version goes out later on Spotify, Anchor FM. And all these audio listening platforms you're listening to podcasts too, plus my own YouTube channel, Big Jim Podcast Live at YouTube.com. Um, I'm going to give shouts out to everybody watching in the Port Elgin Sarnia groups, all the like uh, Sarnia Rocks. Michelle, you guys rock. Um, you got to love Sarnia 2.0. What's up, Sarnia? Sarnia, anything goes. Um, Shane Reaction, Glenn. Glenn and the guys are a killer kick ass 80s band. So if you ever give it a chance to. Go watch Chain Reaction. Do it, because they're awesome. Um, all the pop culture, 80s, 70s, 80s, 90s, retro, classic, nostalgia groups. All the Van Halen, hard rock groups. All the crap beer, cigars. Star Wars, sci-fi, pro wrestling, blogspot, classic TV and movies. Um, the William Shatner A-Team groups tonight. Yeah, so, all right. Um, now, <clears throat> I've been getting requests for okay i'll give you my motivational quote first of all from blogcast number 75 saturday august 10 2019 goals may give focus but dreams give power and that's by john maywell maxwell dreams or no go goals may give focus but dreams give power and that's by john maxwell that's our inspirational motivational quote 
from blogcast number 75, Saturday, August 10th, 2019. So, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Mm. Okay. Mm. Mm. <clears throat> now, I've been getting requests for t-shirts. Um, I've got my big Jim Blogcast live coffee mug here. So, look at that. All right. So, mm. okay. Um, now, I've got several versions here. Um, now, if you want a t-shirt like mine, the baseball jersey or um, like like a logo on the front or the back um, or plain white t-shirt like this one. Um, okay. So... Or any design, any like uh, like a tank top or anything like that. Um, they are 35 bucks a pop. That's in, that includes shipping and handling. It takes six to eight weeks for delivery. I can't help that. Um, just email me here at Big Jim Blogcast Live or on my regular Facebook page with your uh, stats, what you want in a t-shirt, um, on the t-shirt. Um, and I will do my best to get that out to you. 68 weeks for delivery. Right on. So, mm, okay. Mm, mm. Mm. <laughs> so, yeah. A little word like um, on my next original full-length blog cast. It'll be Friday, December 30th, 7 p.m. Um, it's a pre-New Year's Eve. Um pre-new pre -New year's eve show you know it's the last blogcast of 2019 um but i will come to you on uh not next weekend but um there's going to be like uh, volume two volume three volume four um in november and in december uh all sundays so yeah um mm, v-nex there could be gwen there could be v-nex you know what you just like I said, you just email me with your design, uh, with, with what you want. Um, 35 bucks a pop, includes shipping and handling, six to eight weeks for delivery. And I will do my best to get that out to you. Uh, E-transfer, money order. Um, yeah, so, yeah, right on. So, mm. all right. It's Big Jim Blogcast Live version 4.0, best of volume one. Mm. Mm. <coughs> All right. So, yeah, it is Sunday, November 13th, uh, 2022. All right. So, um, yeah, and I gave this, oh, God, perfect beer. 10 out of 10. Monty's Rye Aged Rye Ale. Um, it's a go-to beer. Mm. Mm. As I explained in my rating system, um, I first... Reviewed Monty's Rye Aged Ale back on October 27th, back in October of 27th, 2019. Gave it a 4 out of 5, but tonight, under the new rating, under the current rating system, I gave it a 10 out of 10. And uh, I explained that, the rating system, like um, 8, 9, and 10, if I give that, it's heaven sent, it's an instant classic, it's perfect, it's your go-to beer. Um, seven, 6 to 7, it's a drink. You can drink it again, buy it, do it, give it. You know what? Um, five and six, drink at your own risk or peril. Um, but if it's rated one, two, three, or four, um, and believe me, I've tasted those kinds of beers before. It, it'll turn an alcoholic sober, like just like that. You know what? You'll tur turn it off of alcohol forever. Uh, the devil won't drink this. Even the devil won't drink this beer. Um, and that's saying something. Plus, it was brewed... If it's one, two, three, or four, it was brewed, tasted like it was brewed in a sewage plant. So, there you go. There's my explanation there. So, right on. Um, okay. So, all right. Mm. 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 All right. So, yeah. Mm. B next. Okay. So, all right. 
so anyways yeah big jim broadcast live version 4.0 best of volume one sunday november 13th 2022 all right so anything else i've forgotten i don't think so all right so anyways people uh money's rye age dale 10 out of 10 birthday shout outs going to julie clark dave myers katrina duncan murphy Tara Dunsmore, Wendy Beans, James Henry Ward, Jonathan Schlenker, Lana Smith, Ray Ann Burke, Scott Armstrong, Rob Speck. We did countdowns. We did local events. Uh, we did like a William Shatner movie, Kingdom of the Spiders, season one of the A Team, speeder bikes from Star Wars, uh, the Powers of Pain, the classic tag team, WWF, WCW tag team. Um, we did uh, one hit wonder, boy band, Soul Decision. Plus, we talked about. Uh, Boy band Loop, uh, m- the late boy band mogul Lou Pearlman. Plus, on this day in Van Halen history, we saluted Dan McCafferty of Nazareth. 10 out of 10 on old uh, Monty's Rye Age Dale by the old Toronto Brewing Company in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. There'll be more like uh, you won't see me next weekend. You'll see me the uh, weekend after that with Volume Two, and um, we'll go from there. Um, Dan McCafferty of Nazareth. Um, I gave you your uh, inspirational, motivational quote. Goals may give focus, but dreams may give power. John Maxwell, the birthday shout-outs. Our all-new, all-original episode 237, I think it was. We'll come back to you uh, Friday, December 7th, 7 p.m. So, yeah. Um, All right. So, boom. All right. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Rocky Patel Cigar from uh, Riverfront Cigars in Sarnia. So, right on. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, okay. And the A-Team Lunchbox. Because if you're on the run from the government with three other dudes in a, in a van, or hired to, like, overthrow the uh, a military dictator, or rescue a community center from unscrupulous mobsters, pack a lunch. All right, people. So, so for Big Jim's Blogcast Live, I'm Jim, and uh, be good, and I will see you uh, November tw- Sunday, November 27th with Volume 2, Best of Volume 2, and I uh, want to thank everybody in the, all right, so yeah, I want to thank, we are not spam, um, the audio version will, will go out later on uh uh, Spotify, Anchor FM, and all these audio listening platforms where you listen to your podcast too, plus my YouTube channel, Big Jim's Blogcast Live at YouTube.com. Uh, shout out to everybody watching the Port Elgin Sarnia Group, Sarnia Rocks, Sarnia Anything Goes, um, Pop Culture, Chain Reaction, uh, all the Van Halen Hard Rock Groups, Craft Beer, Cigars, Star Wars, Sci Fi, Pro Wrestling, um, Classic TV and Movies, Blogspot, A Team. William Shatner groups. All right, people. That's me. That's it. Um, I'll see you the following Sunday, November 27th, for Volume 2 of the Best of Big Jim Vlogcast Live. So cheers, everyone. Rock and roll. And behave. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday night. See ya. Mm.